Hey guys, UWG Nick here and welcome back to Sekiro. Today we are digging once again deeper into the Fountainhead Palace. That seems to be my basic intro for now. Um, in the uh, Between episodes, I actually managed to kill the headless who was down below. There weren't actually two headless. One was like an illusion ghost kind of thing and the other, the other one was the real deal. So what you had to do was just kind of uh, kill the illusion which died so much easier than the real one. And uh, then you were alone with the real one, and then it was pretty much like a repeat of the headless fight over at Ashina Castle. So all in all, it wasn't too bad in the end. I just uh, I was getting frustrated for no reason. But yeah, we still have the whole like the old lady telling us that we should go around, and the big carp. Which ah oh, fuck, I forgot to check up on the big carp. God damn it! Damn it! How the fuck do we get up there, by the way? Like, I thought I'd be able to climb up there, but, uh... It seems like the game really doesn't want me to go up there. Surely there has to be a way around that way, right? Oh, come on. Is it gonna be like... Oh, it's gonna be like this, isn't it? Right, I had to go back to uh, the idol and loop around and try to get up that way. And this place. Kill the shit you man. I know there's a ghost dog up there. Can I please, like, get up somewhere? That'd be great. I have a feeling I've been up on that ledge, though. Why can't I get up there now? Okay, there we go. But does that help me in any way? I don't think so. It really seems like that place is shut off from, from access from this side. It made sure that everything is too far to jump as well. Oh, but there's an item. Not a complete waste of time. Heavy coin purse. They're throwing money my way right now. This... I guess this could be possible, but if I fuck this up, we're going to go swimming in the tunnel. Ugh, no, it's too far that as well. They've thought of everything. Damn you, developers. Um, what is seeing me? If it's the big, fi big fish, then I don't want. Oh, it's just the guy up there. Oh, screw you. Is this where the tunnel is? The fishy tunnel? No? That's where the fishy tunnel is. Right, I'm gonna go through it without fighting the big fishy, unless it's not here at the moment? Oh, it's still, it's still here. Oh, okay, I see what they want me to do. They want me to swim through these, like, tunnels and avoid it. I'm good with that. Don't see me, fishy. There's another house there I can hide in. Ooh, oh, this is cool. It actually took bites out of the house. I'm just gonna go for this now. I'm not about to fight that thing, apparently. I need to know more about what it is first. Like, if I accidentally kill it and then it turns out to be, like, an important character in the story or lore or whatever, then I'm, I'm gonna hate myself. Also, it's probably hard as nails to kill. Any loots? No loots? Enemies? This place is very, very pretty, but it's very, very confusing to, like, move around and, and make sure that you've looked at everything. 
Oh, there we got another save point. At least that that inspired me to move. I'm always worried that I'm gonna miss some good items or something like that. Uh, we'll rest. I don't think we really have. There's any point to resting, but do it nonetheless. You guys are eating things. I don't know if these guys have any like attacks that I need to worry about. What are you eating? Wait, you're eating other ones? Why are you eating other ones? You've been eating other ones for a while. That's a lot of masks. Is there like a civil war going on in here or something? Or are, are the blue ones just to be sacrificed to the red ones? Not gonna lie, this is starting to feel a little bit like boss area stuff again. What do we find now? A gourd seed! Holy mother of god! We have 10 gourds now. That's a lot of gourds. I wonder if that's like a suggestion to turn back now and go give the gourd seed. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do that actually because we're right next to a save point. And if there's if they're gonna throw like some fucking fucking uh, boss at me, then why not? Hey. Huh. So I, uh, I went to give the gourd seed and I came back and this is happening here. He seems angry. Is she the one whose father is feeding the car? She died too. There's some fucked up shit going on in this place. Holy crap. Uh, also, I got an achievement when I... Uh, blah, blah, blah. When I gave the gourd seed and that was ultimate uh, healing gourd, I think. So I think 10 is the max that exists in the game. We finished one part of the game, I guess. That's kind of neat. Now, what in the hell is going on here? Why are you eating blue ones? Like, this place really is gorgeous. Sakura trees are just fan-fucking-tastic. Like, even in real life, not just like... I mean, this is tra like a little bit... Dramified, drama dramatized, whatever you want to call it. Made a little extra dramatic with the whole sakura leaves slowly falling to the ground. But there are these kind of sakura rain things going on in Japan during sakura season. These guys usually have poison or some shit, so I'm not sure what the hell that was. Oh, okay. It's like a damaging area, okay. Uh, there are like those sakura rains. When, when the sakura trees start losing their leaves, uh, it can actually be like a pink rain. It's very cool, but they fall a lot faster than this because their the leaves are heavier. Oh, there's a something. I don't like you. Damn, I should have taken death blow. I don't know why, but I should have. All right, there seems to be absolutely nothing in the grass here, so or the riverbed. So we'll just go head on up. Can I reach now? No?
At least I don't have to look for healing gourds anymore. Son of a bitch, what is this? I'm gonna pop an e-liver. I don't know if I need to, and I might have to, I'm, I might regret wasting one right now. See what happens. Eh. Oh, fuck. Can you jump off the cliff, please? Oh, oh, I jumped off the cliff. Okay. Can you guys follow me? Fuck. Where did we end up? Did we find secret place by mistake, or...? Fucking good. Get back up there. Hey, okay, wait. We can wait here until they uh, lose track of me. Then I can backstab them. Give me a second. Oh, there we go. I came up right on top of one of them. I'm okay with that. You have lightning? Who has lightning? This is a dangerous place to fight. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, thank God. I don't know what you're doing there with the lightning thing. Oh, shit. There's one. Ooh! Oh, yes. Oh, she's fighting somebody else. Well, thank you. Oh, fuck off. Ah! What the hell? Come on, just die. You're pretty much dead already. God damn it. Well, uh, my plan worked perfectly, I guess. I wasn't expecting quite that much resistance. I didn't see that last... Last... One... What's happening? Weird. Sudden j jaggies. Sudden laggy jaggies. All right, so the normal enemies now have have lightning, and that was definitely a death trap. I saved my ass by quick reactions on that one. Oh, another one of those. Expect this to be difficult. Come on, guys. I'm Sekiro. Dragon's blood droplet. Wow, we have a lot of those. Let me check how many we have because I'm kind of proud of that. We haven't used many. I have nine in my uh, stash of one in it. Ten dragon drop droplets. I honestly have not gotten uh, Dragon Rot very often in this game. Always been on like these massive ass bosses that I just uh, spammed until everybody had Dragon Rot, then killed them and then gotten rid of the Dragon Rot. It's worked perfectly, really. I don't think even I've lost that much money and experience to the to the game. Two thousand probably in gold. And experience-wise, don't know probably more because you can lose more easily. That. I feel like the lightning strikes that they're sending your way is like to make you rush into um, ambushes. I'm gonna take it real cool and slow. Is this the legendary spring thing? What are you? Who are you? We're gonna pray? What is this? We're here already? Like, this is where you fight the dragon. I thought the dragon was like the last boss. Well, I knew Ishin, the sword saint, is the last boss, but I thought this was like the second to last boss. 
Apparently we're fighting the dragon in this episode. I got my timeline mixed up in that case from videos that I've seen before. I think I need to kill these guys. Um, can I just mortal blade you all? I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Are y'all- oh fuck me. Are y'all dying or what? Are we just supposed to kill all of ya? You guys seem to be sick. I don't know what to do with you! Oh, roots. Oh, that saved my ass. I, I I don't know what I'm doing right now. Am I just supposed to kill these forever? Those are black now, or are they just... The hell? Oh, they have knives now, okay. Oh, well, maybe they had knives before as well. What am I doing here? Am I supposed to do something with the roots? Maybe I'm supposed to do something with the roots. Hey, okay, that didn't help me. Oh. Old dragon of the tree is at least apparently taking damage, so... Last one. Oh, come on, you suck. Hey, you have a weird attack. At least it's like it's not hard to stay alive because of the whole like death stab forever thing. I don't even know if I'm doing the right thing here. Like, are these just here to milk out my, uh, spirit emblems? Seems to be more and more of the black ones, less of the white ones. I assume that's a good thing. It's happening. Okay. Okay, now something happened. They're flutes or something that they're holding, not knives. Well then. That is one freak ass dragon. Okay, he blew me away. Oh, this is the... Yeah, so I have to dodge like those things. And then there's something about these things. 
Right. Did I do it? I think I did it. Did I miss? Oh, oh, shit. Oof, okay. I should block those. I don't think I can. Oh my god. Ugh. Okay, what's going on? Somebody help me move here. But that, but that doesn't do shit. Seems. Is this the moment? No? Okay. Ah, fuck. Did that work? I did something. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, so I'm doing the right thing. I just need to get better at it. Damn. Couldn't, couldn't hook it there. Oh, that was one of those round ones. I'm dodging the fuck out of you. He's just doing big ass sweeps right now. Oh, come on! Damn it, so close. Oh, ah, slashy ones. Gotcha, bitch. What now? Oof. Diagonal. Oh, crap. I don't know what that was. Did I hit you? What am I supposed to do? Fuck! I don't know what to do. Okay, there we go. Lightning. Wait, what? Okay. I don't get it! What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I don't get it. Oh, just survive? Was that it? Just survive? Okay, it was just survive. God damn it. Hey. Okay. Oh, you changed to an actual dragon there at the end. That's kind of cool. Got the tear. I think he did. Gracious gift of tears. Well, I don't know if it's a gift, really. We got achievement. Uh, gracious gift of tears. I wouldn't call it a gift. More like gracious theft of, of tears. Huh. 
We're back at Ashina Castle. Memory, Divine Dragon, the battle memory of an extraordinary foe, commune with sculptor title, yada yada yada. The Divine Dragon, ancient deity of the Ever Blossom. Divine Dragon's Tears. Tears re received from the Divine Dragon, the gracious gift of tears can only be granted by the mortal blade. The body of the Divine Dragon is eternal, and its tears, once shed, will maintain their form and moisture in perpetuity. Should one of the dragon's heritage partake of the dragon's tears, immortal severance will be reified. Uh, something's going on over here. That's Ishin, isn't it? The secret passage key, the key to the secret passage that leads out of Ashina Castle. The secret passage can be found at the end of the moat in the Ashina Reservoir, not far from the Moonview Tower. Kuro has escaped. <coughs> Kuro has escaped the castle through this passage, and the wolf looks to join him in there. Join him there. So it's the same place that we've ran, we've done once before. Alright. Can I, can I like... There a, uh... There a sneaky listen somewhere? Yes, that's fantastic. Uh... Is there any any sneaky sneaky listen to you anywhere? No, I cannot like I can barely even hug the wall. Whoops. Yeah, no 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 listening in on her. That's just that thing and then we have all the other things and there's thingamajiggers going on everywhere. Well, we have four points. Um, I know I should probably spend them on something, but the thing is, like, nothing really interests me right now. Like, sure, this living force could be cool, but then I first have to buy this, the night, night jar slash reversal. However, there is one thing that I'm curious about, and it's this one. Spiral Cloud Passage. Since we have two skills who are maxed out, which is, uh, it's a, uh, the, the Shinobi Arts, and the Ichimonji, it's not fully maxed out, but close enough. We have the access to the Spiral Cloud Passage. Now, this is one of those skills that I just want to see what it looks like. And it could be good to use as well. So, yeah, I think I'm going to save all my points for that. That's nine points, though. That's an insane amount. Uh, rest. I also think that this is a great place to end today's episode. I have a feeling that once we move on from this... Oh, things are going to be very, very hectic for a while and probably not a lot of time to think or stop or wonder. So I'm going to end it right here. Uh, if you're still watching, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please don't forget to, forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe and share my video and channel with other people with all the right screens and or people who like to watch Let's Plays because that's what I do. Um, we did more in today's episode than I expected. But we didn't get to the point that I wanted to. We never got to that plateau over at uh, at the Fountainhead Palace. I feel like we should go back there and try to find that place again. There has to be a way to get up to that platform. We'll think about it. I'm worried that if I move towards Kuro right now, I'm going to be pulled in towards the end of the game. And it feels like there's a lot left to do. 
So it might be that the following episodes might be a little bit like more faffing about and doing business stuff. For instance, there's also that headless in uh, the hidden forest. I know that I know for a fact that he drops a Gachin version of the headless candies, which I'm super interested in. So I might be going for that one as well. It's just a lot to do in this game, really. All right, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the future episodes. I don't know. You don't know. Nobody knows at the moment. See you then. Bye bye.